Okay, so uh, I would not cover uh, all these details one by one because it would come as a as a phase. But I just want to show it to you that uh, we have uh, around one hundred seven or one hundred eight line items here. So don't worry about too many things here. But the intent is that uh, you know we are going to cover each and everything which is part of a black belt program. So uh, wherein uh, it covers. all the phases that we have it covers the mini tab exercise in terms of the statistical test like correlation regression was uh, it also talk about uh, the 750 tools that we have most of you are already gb trained so you have already gone through it um, but one thing is for sure uh, friends that i would expect that you have not gone through anything i would like to start from the scratch uh because that's what that's what the, this program is all about so i will i would be at my own speed because there are few participants who have not gone through any sort of training uh they have just heard of it so that's why this program is for 28 hours if uh, that's the reason so we would cover each and everything um uh, so that everybody understand so uh in the improve phase on the likes of fmea in, on the likes of design of experiment these are the topics that that are there in the black belt we are going to have uh we would have control charts as well and then somebody was talking about lean also so we have lean as well which is which is to be covered uh wherein we we cover some of the uh basic concepts of lean five eyes team boards and then we have the uh, uh i would i would share dummy some dummy case studies or some the some of the case studies that has been completed though i would not share the name of the vendor or name of the organization because of some confidentiality uh but i would share uh, uh the case study to uh, help you understand ki ek project kaisa dikhta hai matlab pura dmx cycle mein end to end uh, from define till control how does the project uh, covers what are the things that we have in project so uh, and during the project i would try to cover uh, the project management piece as well so that it only it not only covers that what is a training and you should also keep your project management hats open so that कि जब मैं पढ़ा रहा हूँ तो आप ये भी समझिए कि आप प्रोजेक्ट जब करोगे वॉट आर थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड सो आई विल कवर दैट पीस एज वेल वाइल ट्रेनिंग दिस अ टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट फॉर फॉर डिफाइन टिल कंट्रोल सो लेट मी जस्ट कम स्टार्ट विद आर ब्लैक बेल्ट ट्रेन सो टुडे वी हैव स्पेंड हाफ एन आवर ऑन इट जस्ट फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन पीस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल वेन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेवन ओ क्लॉक वी विल स्ट्रेट अवे स्टार्ट विद a kind of a refresher uh, wherein i'll ask questions and then we'll move with move start with the training so welcome to the lean six sigma black belt training there are certain ground rules which i need not to explain you you all are very sound professionals uh, everybody should participate uh, please ensure that your cell phones are on silent uh, so that anybody i've also done it for myself as well uh, we will start and stop on time so that uh, we should be able to give uh, time for our personal commitments as well uh, please enjoy the learning uh, don't take it very very complicated uh, because if you take it complicated then it's really difficult for you to understand so really enjoy it while doing it and uh, again and again i'm saying that please participate um, so these are some of the roles and responsibilities of myself and yours so just glance over it we will have certain things to start with uh, we will we'll talk about what is quality uh, six sigma as an overview uh, what is sigma and what is six sigma uh, there are different methodologies used in six sigma like dmac dma db and dfss uh, we will also cover basic stats which is very very important because in the black belt training uh, we're going to have so we need to understand those basic concept that's the reason we have basic stats uh, we will have normality concept as well uh, the process capability uh ways to commence a project and we have define measure analyze improve and control so these are the uh, very high level detail that we have mentioned here uh, this is uh, this is very very high level but the things which i have shown you in the excel the table of content that that is something which we are aiming at what is quality uh, what comes to your mind when i say quality anybody uh you meet what was required to be produced okay absolutely wonderful so quality is something when it is uh, required to be produced or required to be delivered uh, it is basically uh, meeting the customer requirements specifications to ensure that uh, our customer is really delighted at the end of the day 
So uh, any features of any product which are capable of satisfying customer need, as you said. Uh, one very important thing about quality is that our customers, our competitors uh, are always looking for doing the first right thing at, at one point in time. So nobody wants to call again. Nobody wants to uh, do those things again and again. So because of the, because of the competitive world environment. So quality also talks about giving the customer right first time so that uh, you should get this, uh, this heart and not dissatisfied. Uh, who all have heard of uh, American Society of Quality? Have you ever heard of this organization? ASQ. Yeah. AS ASQ. Yeah. So ASQ is a world number one organization for quality because uh, they've been doing this practice for a long time. And they also believe uh, that uh, anything which can satisfy customer stated and unstated needs is something which is called quality. So it is not that what customers are saying, it is something which Customers are not saying also. So we need to identify that as well. And if we are able to fulfill that, that's what they follow as quality. Uh, there is a mathematical equation of quality also. Okay. Uh, if you, if I, if I share it, you will understand what I'm talking about. Quality is always performance divided by expectation. Okay. If my performance is better than expectation, what do you think would happen? It's a delight. Delight, absolutely. So if my quality is equal to one, which means I am meeting the customer requirement. But if my quality is greater than one, which means if my expectation, customer expectation says zada, I have performed, then in that case, my quality becomes more than one or more than 100%. So that's what is quality all about. Okay. So which, which always focuses on giving them what my customer is looking for. Okay. So this is just a normal theory that we were just talking about. There are certain dimensions of quality. When I talk about dimensions, which means these are the criteria which needs to be fulfilled, then only I would call a product or service as a quality product. First is a performance because everybody looks for a performance nowadays. Everybody looks for a features uh, because if they're not getting features, they will not be satisfied. Reliability, uh, for example, if you go and buy an air condition, uh, for example, you go and buy Whirlpool or Hitachi air condition, uh, your, you as a customer would also be intended to ensure that how long it's going to survive. So durability, reliability is really, really important. The life of the product. Serviceability is very, very important uh, because, uh, and you, be, you, you all are aware that Amazon was a, was a lead, lead uh, e-commerce uh, business. You must have seen their advertisement is on cancellation. They say that we give 100% cancellation on time. In that particular advertisement, they are not promoting their product. They're only talking about that we focus on serviceability. If you take an example of Make My Trip also, they focus on that also. So that is also what customer attract that even though if the customer is not satisfied, even though he's facing a trouble, we would be able to give him the what he's looking for on time with speed. Okay. One very important thing which, which is nowadays is that our customers, so for example, I am part of healthcare, okay? And, uh, or I'm part of an insurance sector. If any customer walks into the branch and say that I want to change my address and I tell my customer, sir, it will take seven days. Nowadays, my customer is not comparing with me, the insurance provider, which says, sir, HDFC does it in three days. Why are you taking seven days? He's comparing us with different industries. Sir, pizza to 30 minutes per deliver. Ho jata hai. Sir, uh, Amazon to same day refund. Kar deta hai. Why are you taking a lot of time? So nowadays the customer demand is that they are not comparing it with industry. They're comparing it to different outside industries also. So that's why it is very, very important uh, to understand the stated and unstated needs of the customer. Why I'm sharing this with all of you is uh, because you must be thinking, Ye main pata hai already. we already know that. I'm just trying to create that kind of a platform so that when we, when we transition to Six Sigma, we, we would be able to understand that why I'm talking about all these things. Okay. So that's why, that's why it is quality is very, very important uh, uh, nowadays. And all these projects, uh, Six Sigma project focuses on improving customer quality only, uh, which we will discuss further. Okay. So any question anybody has so far, though I haven't uh, discovered or talked about anything which you are not aware of, but uh, I would be happy if anybody has any perspective or any question. Uh, no questions, but yes, I am. Uh, I I appreciate 
uh, use starting from the scratch. So this is surely going to be helpful. You're welcome. Definitely. So uh, uh, we will talk about meaning of sigma uh, first and then see that uh, what is it. Uh, the term sigma is used to show the distribution or spread about. We will we will talk about what is mean. We will talk about what is spread in detail in the upcoming slide. But just for now, remember that sigma is something which is used to talk about uh, that what is the overall distribution uh, from the mean, which means how am I performing from the average? Okay. So for example, uh, if I talk about sales example here, okay, if my if my average sales is uh, one million uh, per quarter, okay, and in a given month, that is my average sale in a quarter, which is one million. But in a month, I have got either three lakh, then two lakh, or maybe seventy five uh, lakhs or thousands. So that is a spread, okay. So sigma is how far I am from them. Uh, sigma is a symbol which shows a degree of variation, which is also called a standard deviation. So we'll discuss standard deviation in detail. I'll also cover the hands-on exercises as well, where you'll be able to understand. And I will share this presentation, this training presentation with you also, because uh, the LMS that which you have access to, that contains a lot of information, but the presentation that you are looking at on your screen uh, is something which is being designed uh, to make sure that if somebody has attended the training, he doesn't have to refer anything else. So this training presentation itself would cover a lot of things, but which I'll share it with all of you. So, but still, if you want to make notes, uh, I'm, I'm perfectly okay. So that was Sigma. Okay. So now we will talk about what is Six Sigma. So this is a normal history about Six Sigma and uh, which you all should know because this is something it's a it's a very interesting story i'm not sure whether you have heard whether you've heard or not you all know that six sigma was developed by bill smith uh, he's known as father of six sigma and uh, the first company who started six sigma was motorola started in 1987 and this is the first company who, who gave a methodology which is called six sigma prior to that there were a lot of problem solving methodologies which are being used to resolve issues uh, but but Motorola came up with a Six Sigma kind of a methodology. When Motorola implemented Six Sigma, 